You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Max here, or Ron Sync, and today we're going to be talking about the most underused piece of equipment in Modern Warfare 3. Now, last week we broke down the portable radar, and a lot of you guys enjoyed that video, but I also mentioned that I thought that the portable radar was actually the most underused piece of equipment in Modern Warfare 3. Now, I was totally, totally wrong, guys. A lot of you in the comments section were telling me to break down the scrambler equipment, and I didn't really use it that much. I really did know it was in the game, but at the same time, I didn't tend to use it because I thought it was totally useless, and I was so wrong, guys. Now, today we're going to be breaking down scrambler. Uh, a lot of people really do think that the main use for it is kind of to, uh, you know, to block out the enemy radar, but that's actually one of the smaller uses for it, and there's a much, much larger scale of uses that you can actually use a scrambler for. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, guys. Make sure to sit back and relax, and let's get right into this breakdown video. Alright, so to give you a quick overview of what Scrambler actually does, a lot of people don't know, but it's actually a deployable item that jams the enemy's radar within an effective range. Now, I'd like to point out that the range is around 5 to 7 meters wide, while if we want to compare that to like the portable radar, which we broke down last week, that was around 25 to 30 meters wide. So, I mean, there's kind of a big difference there. And uh, this is totally different than the um, than the jammer in Black Ops, because this does not affect enemy claymores or beddies. So, that's kind of a downside to it, but at the same time, guys, there's a lot more uses for it, which we're going to be getting into right right now. Now quickly before I get into some of the really great uses for the Scrambler equipment, I'm going to be talking about the effective range for it. Now last week once again when we talked about the portable radar, we talked about how it kind of covered about 20 or so meters on the map, but here in this case, the jammer only takes about 5 meters on the map, which is, you know, it's pretty good, it's reasonable, but there's not going to be as much leeway as you would have with like the portable radar, which takes up about 20 meters on the map. So this is something that you are definitely going to want to look out for while you're using this kind of equipment, but once again, it's, uh, you know, it's better than nothing and there's a lot more uses for it, which we're going to be getting into right now. Alright, now what I want to do right now is kind of over the main purpose of Scrambler and what I actually use this equipment for. Now a lot of people will think that, hey, you know, the description for the Scrambler is to stay off the enemies, a kind of little radar and mini-map and to block it out, but in reality, that really just draws attention to your area and enemies can kind of find out very easily where you're at, especially with that small radius. Now the main purpose of Scrambler is kind of similar to Blind Eye, which basically keeps you off of all enemy kill streaks. Now we, as you can see here, guys, I have attack helicopters at me, I have Pavlos coming after me, I even have Stray Friends coming after me. But if you're in that radius of the kind of scrambler, you're not going to be getting hit by any kill streaks, guys. And this is absolutely amazing. So, you know, um, what you can actually essentially do is take off Blind Eye if you like it and switch it out with something that you might like a little bit more. Once again, stray fronts, pavlos, um, you know, attack helicopters, they're going to be all off of your radar, guys. And even with that, there's even more kill streaks that you'll be blocked out with. Now, I'm not too sure about you guys, but I'm a freaking Predator Missile Magnet. If there's a Predator Missile called in on the map, my ass is the number one person to be killed by it. So with that being said, the Scrambler kind of equipment is also a little useful for keeping yourself off of these kind of Predator Missiles and keep you away from death by these. Because as you can see here, um, if you're in the radius of the Scrambler, it will actually remove your little red dots off of things like the AC-130, the Predator Missile, and essentially what the enemy's going to think is that you're dead and he's not going to probably go for you. And also getting back onto the topic of the AC-130, as long as you're within the range of the Scrambler, you won't be seen, and in the AC-130, it's very difficult to see enemies that are not in the red boxes or targeted by the red boxes, and also what I'd like to point out is that this will actually work for your whole team, not only for yourself, so this is not only like kind of like a selfish kill streak, but hell, your whole team could sit inside of this radar or this little radius here, and uh, no one will be able to see you. Now, I was also very curious to see if it would counter things like the enemy UAV or even advanced UAV. So if myself or my team was inside of the radius, would it keep me off of it? Now, it did not actually work, unfortunately. If it did, I think it would be super useful. But at the same time, it would kind of increase the camping within the game. So I'm actually kind of kind of happy that it didn't actually end up working out. So that is confirmed that it will not work to counter the enemy UAV. Anyways, guys, that just pretty much wrapped. Now, I hope I made my point across where you shouldn't be using Scrambler to kind of mess up the enemy's radar or rather scramble the enemy's radar, but you should actually be using it to kind of counter most of the kill streaks in the game, guys, because it can protect you from a lot of things. Now, a big quick little tip for you is if you're using actually Blind Eye, switch it out with something more useful like Recon or maybe even Sleight of Hand, and rather from there, replace it with, you know, that Scrambler equipment where it's going to be a lot more useful and you're going to be able to put it down and pick it up when you want. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again if you did like it guys make sure to click that like button down below let's hopefully get this video to like 3,000 likes last week's video got 7,000 likes guys absolutely amazing so I'm hoping to do something special to thank you guys for that and also if you haven't already make sure to click that subscribe button up above it's Max here or Raw on Sync I'm signing out and peace
Now for two videos that you may have missed, on the left hand side we have the best SMG in Modern Warfare 3. That video actually got 7300 likes, so I literally almost shit my pants when I saw that. And on the right hand side we have the best LMG in Modern Warfare 3. Click one that you prefer to watch, and remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for naked pictures of myself. Peace.